How can the study of history bring light to dark times? That's the question for this episode of Theories of History. Hi there, I'm Jostein and I make videos about theories of history in historical literature. If you're as nerdy as me or simply like my videos, press that subscribe button and the bell and we'll see each other again soon. In today's video I'll be discussing De Viris Illustribus, On Illustrious Men, or just De Viris Among Friends. The book is from 1379, written by the Italian humanist Francesco Petrarca, in English known as Petrarch. It was published posthumously and is a collection of some 30 plus biographies about Roman leaders from antiquity. Actually I'll just be discussing the preface here because that's where Petrarch explains his ideas about what history ought to be. Petrarch grew up in northern Italy and during his lifetime he published a whole lot of books and letters. He's often called the first Renaissance humanist, signifying his importance for the emerging European Renaissance. This goes for historiography as well, although he wasn't primarily an historian. In De Viris, Petrarch formulates novel ideas about history which came to be characteristic of the historical literature of the Renaissance, and which clearly show his agenda of reawakening the times of old. To understand these ideas, and before we get into De Viris, one more thing must be said about Petrarch. He is not only known as the first Renaissance humanist, but less flatteringly also accredited with being the inventor of the designation the Dark Ages. The term itself was nothing new in Petrarch's day, but it was commonly used in a religious sense for the time before Christ, when humanity lived in darkness. In this sense, Petrarch was living in the Age of Light. But Petrarch used it in a new way, and firmly believed that he was living in the Dark Ages. Now it's important to understand that Petrarch and people of his time believed that they were still living in the Roman Empire. After all, there was still something called the Holy Roman Empire, there was still an emperor, a Roman tribune, and a pope. But in Petrarch's opinion, the empire lay in darkness. In his usage, the Dark Ages were the roughly 1,000 years from the 5th century to his own day. Times were dark because the glorious Roman Empire of old had been taken over by barbarians and was governed in ignorance of the great Roman past. What Petrarch wanted was for contemporary Roman leaders to acquire the greatness of old. Rome would rise up again if she but began to know herself, he wrote. And this is the purpose of De Viris, to bring back the great Rome of old and bring an end to the Dark Ages. In the preface of De Viris, Petrarch emphasised three aspects of his history of Roman leaders, which were all part of bringing back Roman greatness. It was to be moral, aesthetic and critical. The moral purpose of history, that history should teach by example, had been an acknowledged part of historiography ever since antiquity, and was still so in Petrarch's own time. But instead of choosing examples from the Bible or from his own day, which was the norm, Petrarch chose only heathen Roman leaders like Romulus and Julius Caesar, and sarcastically remarked that men of his own time were more fit for satire than for history. His message was clear. His contemporary Roman leaders should emulate the lives of the great leaders of Rome and become like them. Aesthetically too, Petrarch followed the examples from classical Rome, as exemplified by his hero, the orator Cicero, by only including material that was relevant to the story he wanted to tell. This was also in contrast to contemporary historiography, which tended to copy-paste old anecdotes and tales forever and ever. Petrarch only allowed digressions when they were pleasing to the reader, as he said, yet another rule of classical rhetorics. Finally, Petrarch critically selected the material he included in his biographies. He therefore had to defend himself that the reader might not recognise the stories he was telling, because he only included material which he was certain was truthful, or was provided by a trustworthy source. This was also evidently not how it was usually done, but he did it in order to present the Roman leaders of old as virtuous examples of his own time. In all these three ways, therefore, morally, aesthetically and critically, Petrarch introduced new ideals for history writing. By going back to antiquity for his historical criteria, he clearly sought to emulate the ideas of classical Rome, 
not just to bring Roman history writing back again, but in order to bring back Rome itself. De Viris was in this way a programmatic plan for the rebirth or renaissance, if you wish, of antiquity. Petrarch said it like this, What else then is the old history, if not the praise of Rome? Petrarch was already in his own time a celebrated poet and recognised scholar, and the recognition of his significance has just increased. Although historians today refrain from using his designation the Dark Ages for the medieval period, his role in introducing the Renaissance is already a great achievement. That's all about Petrarch's De Viris Illustribus. If you'd like to watch more videos about theories of history, I hope you subscribe and check out my other videos.